Can I smoke on Women's Wear Daily TV or is that allowed? I, I, we want the real thing. The real thing? Okay. Exactly. Hi everybody. Hi. Oh look, Hi. people with cameras. I love a pinky purplish wall. A house. A house. Oh, it's, oh, a ha oh, it's it a brick a house. house. A pink brick just, house. It's a pink house. The pink house is not really indicative of anything. It's just kind of a happy place. The clothes. Yes. Yes. Now on the other going. hand, we started talking at the beginning of the season about color, and um, we decided that we liked very neutral palette, but one that was kind of inspired by uniforms, workwear, and sort of surplus clothes, because they're kind of invisible colors. And then I started thinking about uniforms and decoration, and I started thinking about anonymity, and the idea of how uniforms in youth culture used to be a sort of symbol of rebellion or protest, and how, like with most of fashion, it doesn't mean anything, it's just what you wear. Are the services plain? Flat, uh, flat. and then decorated. Mm -hmm. We looked at like badges and basically decoration, everything from Girl Scouts and brownies to, to army you know, decorations. We thought of replacing the badges and the patches with big just resin baubles that we had developed and, um, and buttons, things that were decor on uh, uniforms. Well, here we have this lovely young lady in a brown wool canvas bonded dress. We like shape, big shapes, small shapes, short shapes, long shapes, wide shapes, round shapes, narrow shapes, shapes. It's a silk sweater. That's beautiful. Silk That's really nice. Do you want to look at accessories? These are various shoes done in the twill and the velvet. Sort of inspired by Dr. Scholl's, but of course made completely different. Pave okay. buckles and studs. Bags. Crocodile, all kind of hand painted and patinaed in different tones of the colors. And these are some of the ones I love the most. Suede and with a like genuine army cotton sort of flap. And these twill rucksacks and all inspired by army bags. And these are all the cabochons that we developed in the resin with the Gipur. We developed all these beautiful Gipurs that are just um, gallons. If you want to go upstairs, you can see where everybody's working. Yes, on clothes, let's do that. military jacket, shrunken military jacket, which has been decorated. And these are all the Guy Pure trims and the cabochons and the resin and stuff like that. Workwear stuff, where it's got lace appliques and it's got the silk patches over the wool patches with all sorts of mixed business so and metal buttons that we developed and stress. And this is fabric. It's a silk twill. So I, I understand you, know, you started with the uniform Double face thought. cargo. <laughs> Where did it come from at first? We all basically say, like, after the last show, what are we going to do next? And we started looking at color and, you know, I didn't, I mean, we kept putting things together in different bits of color and looking at different fabrics and talking about stuff. And I just kind of felt that I liked the idea of something very anonymous and very invisible. So we thought of what that was and, you know, what it was to all of us for things that are, like, readily available and, like, always been, like, kind of a staple in wardrobe and so we started to you know again do the, our pretend version of mm -hmm. surplus workwear. Really the last show didn't have a lot of color either. But no it's, but, it, but, but it was very different. But it was very it's beigey, so bony, yes. cold mm -hmm. and this is really about like again those kind of standard work issue mm -hmm. colors you know. Here's another double face decorated suit so so that's you know again this big wide abbreviated cargo jacket. Pack. There's so much cut going on in these, isn't there? A lot of cut, a lot of, cut. A lot of seams, a lot of pockets, a lot of work. I love the idea of creating a very conceptual experience. You know, I like doing a theater experience. So you'll enter the armory and you'll enter into this Pepto-Bismol pink environment. And there'll be headsets. Beats by Dre provided us with headsets. What you'll hear is a, a narrative, a computer, an artificial intelligence sort of narrative who tells you what's going on during the show and what's going on in the house. It's a big, 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 enormous pink house. And, um, you know, again, the audience won't see each other from the other side because mm -hmm. the house is blocking the way. So you'll hear the narrative and you'll hear what's going on in the house, but you never really know what is going on in the house and if what you're seeing is what the audience on the other side saw. So it's just this kind of thing of perception, really. And I, you know, that's what it all is in the end.
Thank you so much. That's my wrap. That's your wrap? That's it. That's all I got to say.